Yo, what's going on everybody? So this is another video. Again, this one is on my transmission for my B20 with the B16 transmission on my 1995 Honda Civic Coupe. If you guys are new to this channel, I'm Los. This is the Zenicide channel where I work on my Honda and a bunch of other Hondas. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. We're on the way to 500 subscribers and help us hit that goal. But let's just get started right into this video because I'm trying to drive this car ASAP. It's almost done, a few little things to go, but this should be it. So yeah. Also about 90% of you guys that watch my videos are subscribed. That's what it says in the YouTube analytics. So if you're watching this video, go ahead and like right down there, click the subscribe button. the transmission is finally in it's a little bit windy my bad i know it's all it's been super windy lately but let me just show you so transmission is back on all the sensors are plugged in the ground the starter is on there the shiver is back uh, so the mountain is back in too so we're solid bro we just gotta put everything back together now I actually did get something in the mail the other day, which I thought would be pretty cool. I've heard good things and bad things about this kind of stuff. Uh, mostly good things though, but the bad thing is mostly came from people who like daily drive their cars. But you guys already know this car is far from my daily. I don't want to daily drive this thing either way, but. So I've heard mixed reviews, mostly good stuff though. This is more like a, a performance kind of racing kind of part. This right here. So is the shifter bushings. In this case they're billet ones so they're like metal usually the bushings are like polyurethane like the like the red bushings and stuff and i have both of them right here uh supposedly it gives it like a stiffer feel to it and this paired up with the short shifter that i'll be getting soon uh it would feel phenomenal supposedly it's supposed to be a super stiff super cool super nice uh shifts so i have a weighted shift knob i'm gonna get the a short shifter and then with these bullet shifters we'll see how it is we'll see how it works and uh the last video i showed you guys how this bushing was shot look at this look at that thing is gross that's the one right here it's shot but now we got these see how these work all right this is actually a two-piece but i'm assuming it goes like that it looks kind of like that it has the little end in right here and the back is kind of flat this side's pretty flat too. So, that would just go on there like that. And that would go on there like that. Look at that, check that out. All right, this bushing is in. I did put this random little watch on there to keep it, but that is secure. That's going literally nowhere. So now it's time to put the one up there. All right, so here's the other bushing. So here, this one's not too bad. I mean, it's kind of whatever, just the stock polyurethane one. But here's a new one. Let's hop in the car and see how it moves. Look at this. Look at that. Feels stiff. The short shift there on there. And then with the, uh, that's right here, my Mishimoto weighted shift knob. This thing would feel great. Yes, sir. <laughs> Didn't show it on video, but I actually got my Civic off of Jax. And if you guys didn't check out my last video, and uh, you don't know what that is. But if you did see the last video, then you know what this is. This is my 2000 EM1. What are you doing, bro? But trying to copy me. I copy my build. Right. If you, if you guys didn't watch the last video, go check it out. I'll leave the link in the description of when we uh, picked this up. It was a whole mission. So that's the new build for the channel. My build is right here. It's already 
done technically it's already done technically something came in the mail so i'm going to open that real quick and then we'll go from there all right so here's this box that just came in you guys are probably wondering what the hell is this um i'm about to show you guys what it is so so you guys don't know what this is it's a new blow valve uh it's supposed to be the hks one it's a replica it's a ebay one uh, so it's an eBay HKS replica. Uh, you know, not super crazy with it, but if you guys haven't been keeping up with the build, then you know that my Gretty, my Gretty RS one is just stuck shut and it would just will not vent out in the air. But we do have this new blob valve here. Came with the O-ring, which goes on one of the charge pipes, but mine already has this thing. They just give you an adapter in case you didn't have it so you can like weld it on. But mine already has it. Comes with this filter for the vacuum has the c-clip that gives a lot of problems to a lot of people to put on but we're not worried about that we'll just try we'll struggle and then it came with these two t connectors and two zip ties so we're gonna do that we're gonna install the new blow valve and then it's gonna be almost done well basically done because the last thing i'm gonna need to do is i did order a jack spania wastegate spring it's an eight pound spring and it hasn't come in yet. It's supposed to come in on Tuesday, February 14th. Today is Sunday, uh, February 12th. So we have to wait like two days on that. But other than that, it should be solid. I already have the trans up. All the suspension is back together. And then all we got to do is just wait for that spring to come in. Wait for the spring to come in and then just put the waves get on there. And we should be solid. We should be solid. Like I showed you guys earlier, it's already on the floor. So we don't have to worry about all that. It's solid, solid. So I actually did end up breaking the JBO that I had on here with the other wastegate. I mean, with the other blow valve. So this one is a perfect fit for the new one I picked up. So I'm not doing any cutting, no welding, nothing. I just gotta put that on there. All right, so that O-ring gasket that I got goes in here. Uh, to prevent any leaks, just kind of gotta like put it in there. All right, y'all. So we finally got that clip in. <sighs> I did scratch up a little bit right there, but nonetheless, it's going nowhere. Um, I did already plug in the vacuum liner right here, which goes into this T connector right here. So fuel pressure regulator and the intake. I just need to cut this off. It should be solid. Then, uh, the only thing I would need is the spring for this thing. Then we should be good. So fast forward, the eBay blow off valve is on. It's going nowhere. The wastegate is on. Check that out. Here's a little wastegate dump. It might shoot over here, but tights whatever everything is torqued up on there all the bolts these are all tightened up uh everything was kind of like a little loose but i decided to go on there and kind of torque everything down so should be good now let's turn it on and see what happens All right, so the Turbo B20 is running, it's alive. It does only have one quart of transmission fluid in there because I only had one. I gotta go pick up another one. But for now, just to move it, just to get it from here to there, I just put one in there because that's what I had, just to actually drive it. But for now, the Turbo Civic is alive. It is boost season. Comment down below, boost season. You know, we're trying to hit 500 subscribers, so go down below and hit that subscribe button and let's get it. Transmission and bugging out, bro. 